This video is brought to you by Monster Insights. In this video, I'll walk you through the different ways you can change the font size on your WordPress website. And we'll cover four different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. So if you're ready, let's dive in. The first method is simply adjusting the paragraph headings. And these are basically the subheadings that make it super easy for people to scan through your document on your post or page so that they know exactly what you're talking about. To do that, let's head over to a post. We'll go to posts, all posts, and you can either create a new post or you can edit the one. I'm going to edit this post. So for instance, you see that this post has a lot of text, but we don't have any subheadings. To change that, we can come over here and I'm going to hit enter so I can start a new line. And now I wanna make this one bigger. So I'm going to highlight this and then you can come up here to the little paragraph area and then we want to go to heading. And then from here, we can pick the heading that we want. Now, if you haven't written the text out and you want to start from a new line, you can simply go to a new line area and instead of typing anything out, let's click on the plus icon and then you can find the heading here as well. So we can start off with the heading and for this one, we're going to do a heading three because we already have a heading two up above. And now we have all different subheadings and different font sizes for those. And once you're done, make sure you click publish or you can edit or update your post and then you'll be good to go. Method two is changing the size of the text in the block editor. For instance, I want to change the font for this one. And in order to do that, I can just click on the paragraph area and now you see all of this over here in the block where we have text settings and we have preset sizes. We can go in here and change it from what's normal. You can make it larger and you can even do custom to adjust it even more if you want. And then as soon as you make those changes, you'll see it come over here. Now, once you make those changes, you'll want to simply click update and the changes will take effect for you. The third method is by using a plugin, and this is by changing the font size using Tiny MCE Advanced. A lot of people enjoy using this plugin, and it's basically a what you see is what you get type plugin that helps you format your posts and pages. But in order to do this, we need to install the plugin. So let's go to plugins, add new, and we're looking for Tiny MCE Advanced. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install. And then we want to stick around to activate the plugin as well. Now you can either go to settings here, or if you ever want to come back to this and you need to make the changes, you can go to settings, tiny MCE advanced here to make those adjustments. If you're still using the classic editor, there's a way that you can make the changes here. But for this one, we're using block editor so we can adjust them. And now this is what the editor will look like. So for this one, we want to make sure that we have the font sizes up at the top. So we'll just left click and drag it up. And now we have the font sizes available for when we're inside adjusting or updating a post or a page. To save the changes, make sure that you scroll all the way down to click save changes. And now we can go back to that post that we've been working on. I'll go to edit. And now I wanna click on the add block. And from here, we're looking for something called the classic paragraph and we can add the text that we want. And then we can pick where we want it to change the font size. We're gonna click on the drop down and change the font size here. Now, up until now, all of these have been individual font changes on individual areas like your subheadings and things like that. But what if you want to change the font size across your whole website? Method four will allow you to do that. First, we need to get out of here and we want to go to appearance customize to make our customizations. Now under customizations, these will depend on your theme and what you'll see here, but go all the way down to see additional CSS. And I'm going to open up a page where we have some text already. And from here, we want to add a bit of CSS in order to change the font size across the whole website. For instance, you can see the text here. And if I add this bit of code, and we'll have this bit of code in our written tutorial and we'll have a link in the description below. But basically you just wanna paste this bit of code right here and then adjust the font size to what you want your font size to be. And then you see, as soon as I make any of the changes, you can see them making the changes over here. And now depending on your theme and how it's set up, you can also go through and adjust your H2s through your H5s, just like you see here. And then if you wanna see how your site is doing, one of the best ways to do that is by installing Monster Insights. With Monster Insights, you can see everything about your site from how many people are visiting your site, 
where's the bounce rate? When are they scrolling down and bouncing off your site or leaving your site so that you can improve your content? You can also see things like new or returning visitors, the top refers, so who's sending most of the traffic to your site and so much more. To get started, just head over to monsterinsights.com and make sure you use promo code WPBBIP to get the best discount on Monster Insights. And thanks for watching.